Hi, I'm over to Say What Now Productions. I'm here with uh, Fred Wood, uh, independent game creator, uh, yes. podcaster, internet yes. celebrity, really. I, I oh, do things right. on the internet and people might know me. I would, I would okay. say that's about the extent of it. But. I mean, you just had a very successful crowdfunded campaign. I did. To start your own podcast network. Yes, uh, that was uh, the SwordStream podcast network at swordstream.com. And how's that going? It is going well. Uh, we, we currently have two podcasts. We're working on a third. We've got uh, Wichow on there. We've got the Bandcast. We're starting up uh, Everybody Dies at the End, which is a it's a in-depth podcast where we will take uh, an hour to talk about one game. We did one episode for Bioshock Infinite's terrible DLC. Uh, or at least the really <laughs> terrible ending of that DLC. But we, we, we go like deep into just one game for an hour and uh, flush it out. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. When's, uh, when's that looking to go? That, that one launched on YouTube first, and that's uh, at uh, youtube.com slash that's my trunks. Uh, youtube.com slash that's my trunks. And uh, we, we'll, put the, we'll put up the audio version of it sometime soon. As well. Oh, so it's got gameplay features in it as well? Uh, no, actually, it's just audio, but uh, YouTube free hosting. So it's a really good way for podcasts to work online. I'm surprised. You would expect video to be, well, video, but. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, uh, you actually made your own game. I did. Uh, Love. Yes, it's a game right. called Love. Uh, it is a very traditional 2D platformer. Uh, it's got a visual rule set, which is that there are only three colors on screen at any time. It's black, white, and whatever color the stage is. And uh, it's available on Steam. Currently at $2.99, it's going to be going up to $3.99 as soon as we add the extra 10 levels to it that are going to be free DLC for everybody that bought it first. Okay. And then uh, it'll be uh, $4 for everyone else. Which, $4. Right. So how many levels is it now? Uh, it is currently at 15 levels. It's going to be 20 levels once, once it's done. I've had a go at myself, but it's, it's hard. pretty hard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's on PC right now. It's coming to Mac and Linux. And eventually, I don't have a release date for it, but uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3. Get out. With, with cross-buy for all of it. So you buy it once, you own it on the whole. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes. Uh, so... You've also just started your own Let's Play series. Yes, I, I am apparently doing far too many things. Uh, <laughs> I do a show called Lone Stars with uh, with um, my friend Forrest Cobb and Carlos Ferran. Neither of them have ever done any projects online. Uh, they, they're friends of mine from way back. Well, Forrest is, Carlos is a bartender I know that is like a super hilarious guy. He's from uh, Second City Improv up in uh, New York. I think New York. But uh, he's hilarious. They're both hilarious. And uh, we just record games and we talk over it, and each episode's about 10 minutes long. And that's also available at the same YouTube channel, or you can go to LoneStarsLP.com. Or That's My Trunks. Or That's My Trunks. So. Yep. Yes. Basically anything. Yes. <laughs> You just come back to Texas. I That's have. Very awesome, Texas. Yes. Yes. Finally yes. uh, got out of New York. I lived in Albany, New York, working for uh, Love Up Studios for the last uh, two years. So it was actually January second of 2012 to December 31st of uh, 2013. Glad so. to be back in the home side. God, yes. I hate. I hate <laughs> living in Albany. It got to negative 17 degrees in my apartment with the heater going. Oh. And I'm from Texas. I'm like a native Texan. That's this not is that. this is your natural. Yeah. Weather, hey. It's like it's weird because up there, like this white stuff comes from the ground and makes life hard for everyone. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm ecstatic. I live in San Antonio now, which is my home and native land. So oh, nice. really happy to be there. Also, very very cheap compared to New York. So. I imagine most places are cheap it's, compared to New York, yeah. especially here in downtown Austin. In which case, but, yeah, yeah, everything's a bit on the cheap side. Six dollars for a beer is a bit much, but eh, it's a good beer. Just one last thing, you know, should they? We had uh, Phil Fish. Phil Fish. Putting his uh, opinions out on the internet again in rather inflammatory fashion. Well, Targeting particularly Let's Players. Uh, I, I will say this, uh, I'm biased. I've worked with Phil Fish and he actually screwed me over, but I actually have a bias towards him. I, I really like Phil Fish and I think that he's brilliant. And uh, the, the things that he's saying online about uh, Let's Plays and how developers should get a cut, I I agree and I disagree, but I actually lean toward, more towards like, if there was a structure in place where the Let's Players got copies of the games uh, to promote them and work with the indie, uh, indie developers, it's like everybody's helping everybody in that case. There, there are YouTube Let's Players that are making like $4,000 to $7,000 a month by playing video games. Yeah. And yeah, like, if, if there's a way that they can somehow collaborate with the developers, I absolutely believe in the developers. 
see some of the money. I mean, I personally just throw copies of love at anybody who's like, I would like to play this online. I'm like, fuck it, here you go. <laughs> like, I I like Let's Plays. I'm doing one mostly because it's fun, not because we want to make any money or be successful. It's yeah, so we, we run our own Let's Plays as well. Yeah. And, uh, so it's all getting a bit close to home when this sort of stuff comes. Right. And like, I don't think that it's like across the board, like, I don't think... Uh, Bungie or 343 really need money for somebody putting up some episodes of a Halo Let's Play, but uh, like for the independent developers, if there's a way that they can help each other out, cool. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that's oh, thanks for your time, friend. No problem. I really appreciate it. It's good talking to you again. Thank you. Yay.